This Pi game tutorial is probably going to be a pretty short one. Uh, last time I was showing you how to resize images, and I'll show you, we'll run what we've got going on so far. Let me move that over here. Um, and you saw, you see how the tux moves across the screen like that. It's moving at a pretty decent speed. But last time we showed for a second, I shrunk down both tuxes, and it sped up the game quite a bit. The tux moved a lot faster. And you want to control the timing in your game. Uh, older games back in the day, later release, or later release, <laughs> late 80s, early 90s, that sort of stuff. Some of those older games have problems running on newer computers because they didn't limit how fast the game can run. They just, the computers were slow enough back then that they just went at top speed. Computers are so much faster now that some of these older games just fly and just are unplayable. Um, and what we can use is we can use the Python uh, clock uh, option to um, limit how fast our game to go and we can limit it to 60 frames per second so no matter how fast your computer is the game will not go faster than 60 frames per second if you have a slower machine and you have a lot going on it may run slower than that but it won't run faster than 60 frames per second so let's go into our game and we're going to add a uh, new variable here and uh, we're going to call it clock so I'll add it right here under these variables, clock, and we will set clock equal to pi game dot time dot capital C in clock parentheses. And then we will put down here in our loop, basically anywhere in the main part of the loop, we're going to say clock dot tick and we'll put it at 60. Oop, not 6, 60. Simple, that's that's enough to do it. Run our game, and you can see the tux is running slower because before he was just flying, and this also uh, prevents, um, if you're running this on a device like a phone or a lap, even a laptop, without that uh, limiting it, you, you'll burn your battery, your, your battery will just die super fast. Uh, Pi game still uses up a lot of battery space, battery power as it goes on. Um, but once again, we'll, we'll start that over again. You can see it's moving a lot slower now because we're limiting it to 60 frames a second. It gives you a lot more control over your game because uh, you might time something out one way, but then as you add more stuff to the game, it slows it down and it's not going at the same time you were expecting. This way, you're at least capping it at 60 frames per second. So that's the clock feature in Pi Game. Hope you're finding these tutorials useful. Filmsbychris.com. Link is in the description. Please feel to visit, rate these films, comment. Hope you're enjoying them. Have a great day.